Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here today and today I'm going to show you some items that you should probably take some precautions of because they are potentially hazardous to your health. Now that being said, after you watch this video, that does not mean go into your collection, toss out everything that could be dangerous. This does not mean uh, do not buy these things. This is just if you do decide to buy it, there are some precautions you should take just to be on the safe side. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Uh, gas masks are basically going to be your prime target for this video and we're going to start with the World War One American and British gas mask. Uh, I'm not sure about you know French, German, Austrian, Turkish or Ottoman and all that. I don't know about their gas mask but this is for the British and American one. Their filters were charcoal lined so basically uh, there was charcoal in here and this would help prevent the toxin toxic gas to get into your um, into your lungs and it'll basically help filter it out so you could breathe you know proper oxygen uh, as it sits right now it's not dangerous the only time it's dangerous is if i decide to breathe through it uh, because over time even after 100 years even if it's well preserved uh, the inside could deteriorate and you could get small particles into your your system and really in the end that's just not a good idea all right next we also have a world war ii gas mask so they didn't really improve much since then uh, so this is a World War II German civilian gas mask. And this one, that white ring there, is a cloth basically with asbestos in it. Now real quick, asbestos, uh, it was used a lot during the 20th century. It was really good for building, you know, insulation, soundproofing, um, filtering, and so on. So it was kind of a, a miracle tool, to say the least. Now, you're probably wondering, why the hell do I have this if I have asbestos properly exposed like this? Now, yes, it's probably not the healthiest thing to have in the world. You have to understand that asbestos is only dangerous if you inhale it, if it gets into your, you know, your, your lungs and everything. So if I leave it this way and I don't create a, a cloud of dust or a dust cloud or whatever you want to call it, if I don't do that, then it's fine. It's, think of it as if there's a gun on the table. Gun on the table... If you don't touch it, it's not gonna do anything. It's not really gonna hurt anyone. If you pick it up, point it at someone and shoot, then yeah, that's when it starts hurting people. So that's kind of the same idea. If you don't touch it, if you just leave it alone, it's not gonna hurt you. Now, other gas masks that had this were the World War II British gas mask. So this time, the mask itself is fine. You could put on the mask, supposedly, and you would be fine. The problem is in the filter. Kind of like with the World War One filter, these filters had asbestos in it. Again, they were good for uh, they were good for filtering out the toxins, so you could breathe oxygen, you know, clean oxygen, and not you know, mustard gas or whatever gas they were expecting. So again, the filter is the dangerous part only if you breathe it in, basically. All right. Also, the World War Two M38 German gas mask here. The mask is fine. I could put on this mask. Maybe not a good idea, but health-wise, I'll be okay. It's the filter that you should be careful of. Although this is sealed, it's been you know, in good condition for the for however many years. Uh, the inside could have deteriorated with time, you know, getting knocked around, so on. So if I breathe through it, that's when I could potentially get some old asbestos particles in my system. And really, I don't really want that. Now, as you can see, you know, gas masks during World War II and World War I. Probably not the best thing to breathe through. But that was not the only issue. Um, as I said, asbestos was kind of a, a miracle tool. It helped with everything and they used it for everything. World War I British and American helmets, they used asbestos in the liner. Now it's just not right here everywhere, sweatband and everything. It was under this you know gray pad you see there. Uh, it was used there for you know insulation to keep the pad and the liner you know in good shape so it wouldn't you know deteriorate and that's basically it so if i have it sitting on you know my mannequin head i show it to you guys on video like this uh it's fine the only time it's dangerous if it's a, if i start messing with that pad on the inside and i start creating a, a dust cloud of asbestos and i breathe that in that's when it's dangerous so the short answer for this is if you have gas masks things like this don't wear them don't create a, a dust cloud of uh of asbestos and you know just be smart with it that's basically the only thing right now it's not harming anyone if 
I decide to breathe it in, that's when it's dangerous. All right, so enough about asbestos. As bad as it, as it is, there are some other things we should probably look into. So during World War I and World War II, uh, the British and Commonwealth, so Canada, New Zealand, Australia, etc., uh, they used this canteen for both world wars. And as far as I know, the canteen itself is steel, but to help, uh, to stop it from uh, getting rust, from rusting uh, with the use of water, the insides were painted with enamel. Now enamel is basically porcelain and it's it's toxic. Uh, if you have it, you know, like this, it's safe. But if I start putting it in my body, in my, my system, that's when it becomes unsafe. And the only time it becomes unsafe is, you know, these canteens got banged up, the paint inside chipped. And so I have little particles in my water and that's how it gets in my system. And also, sometimes the, uh, the corks got rusty like this and that just looks disgusting. I don't know about you, but that's not appetizing at all. So that's something to think about. Now that doesn't mean every canteen was like this. For example, American canteens, you see here, it's just metal. There's no paint on it. You just clean the inside. Clean the inside, you're good to go. There's no danger there. So I hope this video helped you guys. You know, it's a short, or you know, it's a simple video. Kind of just to open up your eyes that, you know, not everything back then was made with, you know, with the knowledge that we have today. Yeah, back then they they used asbestos. They slowly learned that it's dangerous, and it wasn't until what, like the 80s, I think, that really it started. You know, people started really being precautious with it, and you know, taking it out of buildings and so on. So, like I said, this does not mean toss everything out. You know, this does not mean destroy it or anything. This does not mean to stop buying it. This just means that when you have it in your collection, be safe with it. Don't put on your British gas mask at a Halloween party thinking it's cool because you're kind of just risking your your health for you know a silly costume uh, don't go taking out these World War One liners with no protection at all you're just going to be inhaling a lot of asbest asbestos so basically just be smart with it kind of like with the gun you know don't mess with it it's not going to mess with you that's the short story anyways if you like the video drop a like write a comment share the video to help your friends stay healthy Subscribe, but besides that, you guys have a great day.